Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today's video uh, is an attempt uh, for me to make um, an XT uh, PC CF uh, card IDE kind of um, adapter for replacing the old um, MFM um, hard disk in my Amstrad 1640. Now this will be the first purpose of this video. The second one is to create a list of all the points that you might need to know if you are buying something uh, or several items from time to time in kit form. So let's get down to it. Um, we have the PCB without components. The uh, PCB comes in a separate bag usually and there are other bags carrying the uh, components and um, the sensitive components like the ICs and all that is in a plastic bag like this. It should be an static one, an static one, but this one is not like this. Anyhow, we can see the uh, switches, um, the sockets for the ICs, an EEPROM and uh, some logic gates that will do the uh, blue logic behind the circuitry and um, that's the second part of the package. The third bag usually has what we call the simple electronics like uh, capacitors, tran uh, transistors, if any, uh, resistors or whatever. The EEPROM here is something that I will show you later. I will make a copy of it before I can install it and try if the device is working after my construction is done. And uh, why is it essential to keep a copy of this guy here, the EEPROM, uh, before uh, you can try to make um, um, the device work and uh, to build the kit? Because sometimes those are blank, are empty, and you never know. The second reason is because these are prone to failure and so it's always good to have a copy on your PC of the bin file. And now here is the third uh, bag carrying the non-sensitive components like uh, resistors, capacitors, LEDs or whatever. Now the other thing you should take a second look at is whether it, there is um, documentation, a paper, something that has instructions on how to build this thing after all. Now, some of you might say everything is on GitHub these days. Of course, there is, that's true, but it's always good to have the schematics on the side. Uh, I have started already putting the sockets and the uh, dip switches, non-sensitive stuff, in the beginning, and then I will go on with the rest um, of the components, but before I can do that, I will make a copy and actually check if there is something written on my EEPROM. And uh, at this point I can see clearly that there is this um, uh, something inside the EEPROM, which is the Atmel uh, in this case, um, pretty much standard these days. So I know there is something in the EEPROM, so it was pre-programmed and that's good. And I will make a copy of it, save it uh, as a bin file and save it uh, in my um, records. And after about an hour I have placed every component on the PCB and I'm ready to test it. Looks good, uh, resistors are in place, LED uh, capacitors and the ICs in the sockets already. Not to mention the compact flash card which have, hasn't been tested before and it's pretty much uh, whatever you can find a Chinese cheap stuff. And those are leftover resistors. I'll get back to you um, later with this. And so placing the um, card in my Amstrad and although the uh, card's BIOS is popping up, uh, the CF card, in other words the hard disk of the device, cannot be recognized. And so I'm now checking um, good quality pictures, big pictures from the uh, internet. Um, this particular one comes from eBay to check uh, up close for the right components, the colors on the resistors, the values of the capacitors and all that. 
just because it looks like something is wrong and I can find C8, C7 here uh, to be uh, ceramic capacitors what I had in my bomb in my bag and not to mention R5 uh, were different C7 and C8 were electrolytic in my case and R5 was 1K um, um, and the R4 was 5.6 kilo ohm and what it says now on GitHub do not um, install R5 and this 5.6 in my case what was delivered was 1k so I have to uh, change those according to this and make it work uh, properly because for the time being the device is not recognized by my machine my poor Amstrad will have to wait a bit longer I will get back to you soon with all the changes I'm gonna be making and please do keep in mind that buying in kit form has a certain risk level of risk I mean everybody's trying to save on some bucks uh, from time to time right but um, is it worth it after all so thanks for watching I will be catching you soon with the uh, latest developments on this project hopefully I can make it work um, and all the latest news about my poor Amstrad waiting for his modern C drive so th yeah thanks again for watching and see you soon bye for now